Thanks, Green. How come Republicans seem more jazzed about Speaker Pelosi's trip than the president? You're going to have to ask Republicans. I have jazz. Well, yeah, I mean, do they have jazz hands, Peter? Do I have jazz <laughs> Do they hands? have jazz <laughs> hands? You they? said jazz, that they're feeling can, jazz. We can have our Hill team check. <laughs> um, but Mitch McConnell said, I think it's important for the speaker to go to Taiwan. Lindsey Graham said the idea of her going is a good thing. Chuck Grassley, I'm sure glad that she went. Is President Biden just worried about hurting Xi's feelings? I, I'm, so you're saying because they said that, then we're not jazzed? Like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We've been very clear. We've been very clear for, gosh, the past week or so, um, that uh, the speaker has the right to go to Taiwan. We have said right. that. Yes, you've been clear that she has, she the, has right, the right, but why is it so hard for the president just to say, she's a brave trailblazer, and I think it's great that she went. Like, so many I think, but others I think the, on... the president thinks that the Speaker Pelosi is a, is a great trailblazer. Look, Does I he mean... Does think that it was good that she went? Here's the thing. What we are saying is that we cannot dictate and we will not dictate where members of Congress go. Members of Congress, wait, let me, well, we let, that, oh, let me, let me when, finish. When they go, he doesn't dictate it, they go. Now he can say if he thinks it was good or not. I mean, that's not how it works. That is not how it works here. It, it, it really isn't. Members of Congress say? have the right to travel wherever they choose. Our part of this is to make sure we give them a thorough and complete briefing when it comes to the geopolitics of the region or the state or when it comes to national security. That is our part in this. Now that Taiwan is effectively encircled by the Chinese military doing these drills, does the president think that the trip was worth the trouble? I'll see. Look, I already said this, and I'll just repeat it to you. There's no reason for uh, Beijing uh, to, uh, to turn this visit, uh, which is consistent with longstanding U.S. policy, uh, in, into some sort of crisis. There is no reason to do that. We have been very clear. There is no change in our One China policy, which is guided by the, tai the Taiwan Relations Act of 1979. That has not changed. And so, uh, look, the United States will not seek and does not want a crisis here, but and we are prepared to manage what Beijing chooses to do. And last one about that, there's a Chinese official who says the U.S. must pay the price for its own mistake and we mean what we say. When the Chinese threaten the U.S., does the president take them seriously? Again, the United States will not seek and does not want a crisis. We are prepared to manage what Beijing chooses to do. Nothing has changed when it comes to uh, our policies. Uh, this was a precedent. This was precedent for the speaker to travel uh, to Taiwan. That is nothing new, and it changes absolutely nothing when it comes to our, our one-China policy. Is President Biden just worried about hurting Xi's feelings?